Every so often, the sports hangover touches on mature topics. Discretion is advised. Gossip, BS, lies, and rumors. This is the sports hangover. I don't know what that means. No one knows what it means, but it's provocative. But it's not as good as people going. Yes, it is a sports hangover. That's Mike. I'm J Dog, and I just had my first European experience. I'm I'm so proud of you, Jeremy. Uh, I was so nervous for you. I was checking in uh, when you were uh, out there in uh, Scotland. I I wanted to, just the UK. Uh, UK, we can say it was Scotland. Most people don't go there for their first time in Europe, but but I no. did, and I I loved it. I went to St Andrews, the home of golf. You're checking in on my stomach. My my stomach yeah. was fine. I was the concerned. Whole time. Well, I told everybody that you know you have a child a child like stomach. You taste- I don't have a child, but <laughs> no, you don't have a child, but you do eat like a child. And I was worried that you weren't going to be able to eat or like have an upset stomach. And I know you wanted to talk about your food because you're you know. You're angry about eating beans at six o'clock in the morning. Because of the podcast last week, my brother checked in with me and said, hey, how's your stomach? <laughs> like you still started a trend there. It's like, it's fine. And Scotland's not known for their food like no. other great European countries are. Like you're going to Spain tomorrow. They're known for great food in France and Italy. That's awesome. Scotland, not so much. They're known no. for haggis, which is um, the inside intestine of a cow wrapped in stomach liner. That's it, what they're known for. It almost sounds like prison food. It's like, what could we just screw? Crunch up and then feed you, and that's what you're going to have. And we made it warm, so you'd kind of enjoy it a little bit, but here you go. Yeah, not great. They're not known for that, but I did enjoy breakfast, the English breakfast, okay. um, baked beans for yep. breakfast, mm-hmm. big on that, um, yeah. like vegetables, tomatoes. They had charcuterie for breakfast. You're, um, you're, not, a, you're not a breakfast guy, so it's the, the perfect breakfast for you. It switched it up. Yeah, they're not yeah, big yeah. on eggs. They I do all that. the other stuff, so, so I was big on that. Um, shout out to the Fairmont um, hotel oh, no. in St. Andrews, oh, no. really Not recommend again. it. They hooked it up in exchange for a little mention here, so I want to get that in right <laughs> off the top. No sponsored segments just yet. Um, um, we're still working on that. But I do want to mention, Mike, I yes. do want to mention, Go before ahead. we move on, mm-hmm. I have travel hacks coming up. Yes. I know you have some NBA updates, but I just want the people to know I played St. Andrews, the old course, the first golf course in the world established in the 1700s, mm. and I made two birdies. Are we, I'm supposed to be excited, right? Like, two birdies. Oh, That's awesome. Your, fiesta. Good, your finger huh? was on the soundboard and you really didn't. Hit yeah. The other yeah. I didn't know I was supposed to be excited about that. You know so what a birdie I, is? Uh, you never uh, made one. So I'm asking. I've never made one. I, I don't play golf. I've played golf like uh, five times. I can count on my hand. That's how many times I've played You've golf. played more than that. I've played with you more than that. Um, so did, did you like the course? Like, was it nice out there? It was electric. It was awesome. It, it's so cool and historic. And to be there in this old town, and, and the whole town is built around it. So the 18th hole plays into the middle of town. Uh-huh. Picture the town around three corners of the hole, like tall buildings and people yeah. watching and walking around. And then you're like playing in the middle. It's like That's an fun. amphitheater. It's it's really different and unique. Um, check out my Instagram, oh. at jdog722. We post some tons <laughs> more updates as the long weekend goes on. All right, let's do some interview. Jeremy, you you missed uh, a great time in uh, NBA playoffs. I'm really enjoying myself. Drake's getting into it a little bit. It's throwing some antics on the on the court. You haven't watched it. You don't know anything, right? So, nope. Five hours ahead over there. So those West Coast games are starting at like 3 a.m. Um, mm-hmm. in Scotland. Didn't watch any of it. Fill me in, please. Uh, the Golden State Warriors are going back to the championship. Uh, they swept that- someone? They swept uh, wh- whoever they were playing. Portland. They were playing Portland. How did Portland sneak into the Western Finals? By the way, I don't think there's anybody else good. There is no one else. They're just that good. Kevin Durant's out. Also, rumors that he may never play again as a Warrior because of his injury might be a little worse than thought. So conspiracy now- theory music, please. Okay. When he first got hurt, yes. they said it was only going to be a few days to be back right. in the middle of the Western Finals. That's yeah, very yeah, loud. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it turns out he's not even going to be back for game one of the NBA Finals, and they swept Portland. Are they better without Kevin Durant? Well, that's that's the thing. And uh, Easy Money Sniper on Instagram, that is Kevin Durant's uh, oh, ha- oh. Uh, username, he was not happy with people saying this is the worst possible scenario ever for Kevin Durant. He's injured. They've gone on a 7-0 win streak, the Warriors. This is possibly, I think it could be the worst thing for Kevin Durant because this could hurt his value going forward to another team like the Clippers or the Brooklyn Nets or wherever he goes. 
So mm-hmm. now the Warriors are continuing on. He might not play. And this is a big drama fest. I love it. I love that Kevin and Kevin Durant loves. He has those secret accounts going on. Like Kevin Durant's the best. What are you guys talking about? Blah, 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 blah. Jim, one, two, three. He does loves. he actually comment as Kevin Durant? He does. And he's mistakenly done it as somebody right. else because he has so many fake accounts. That's what I thought. So, so he's done in Golden State. Golden State's going to beat whoever comes out of the East. I guess it's a decent series with Drake versus um, Aaron Rodgers. Is that what's going uh, on? Drake versus uh, the Bucks uh, owner's daughter who wore a uh, Pusha T-shirt who just blew up on the internet. Champagne Poppy, that's uh, Drake's Instagram handle, changed his whole uh, profile picture to the owner's daughter's face and now he, <laughs> she is up there it's like great. nothing in sports is more on brand than drake versus yes. the owner's daughter great. wearing a shirt to bash drake. i love That's it perfect so much for you. it was all <laughs> over the place uh very i mean it it's like the most interesting part about it aaron Rodgers is there it seems like everybody's really getting into it i loved like the toronto thing drake's out there doing like hype speeches afterwards he's rubbing the back of the buck of the Toronto Raptors, like coach is back, and that's questionable. I'm not sure the coach enjoys that, even if it is a Drake back rub, right? Uh, it's it's kind of weird. It's kind of like if you just got floor seats, and then all of a sudden you're just like, oh, I can just like talk and shake hands and like do whatever I want to the coach. Seems super weird, but again, Drake is like the next coming of like the greatest thing ever in Toronto. And they love him so much that yeah, I think they'll let him do whatever he wants. Just because he's Drake doesn't mean he can go touch the coach. Next no, he's going to be touching that. the player, and then he's going to be subbing into the game with five minutes left. Know, That's what the trend we're on right I now. I know. And now it's not okay. Not, they, they, listen, Toronto is just a passionate city, and I really – listen, I was there for one night, and I love the city. Kawhi, they're offering Kawhi Leonard anything he wants. They even started a campaign in Toronto. They put a face on Kawhi outside a restaurant or a bar, whatever – Kawhi eats free, drinks free, can live for free. They want to offer him up like a $10 million penthouse mansion. Go live in that. Stay here in Toronto. They are a passionate group. I love it. I don't think they're that great. They're not going to win the championship, but uh, good for them. Are we going to Toronto for Matt's bachelor party or is that Montreal? Which one won? Uh, I don't I don't know. I mean, we have to see if we're invited, but I don't know if we're actually going to Canada. We did a fucking Canada. bracket for him. I think we'll be invited. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I don't know if we're actually going to Canada. I I hope it's local. I hope it's somewhere close and warm. You're so boring. You just want to go to Palm Springs all the time. I don't want to, I've been there three times. I, I would like to go somewhere. I I wouldn't mind going to Mexico. Mexico's really pushed out quickly out of that uh bachelor party bracket. Uh, Mexico, speaking of bad stomachs, my stomach did not oh. do well last time I was in Mexico. Yeah, it's tough. Don't drink the water. That's what I they didn't, say. but I had, um, I had guacamole, which was mm-hmm. the avocados were washed and apparently we traced it back to that. Uh, um, also, did you see the thing, uh, how magic was on first take this week? I saw first take pumping their ratings for, for the magic Johnson hour. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was great. I don't know. So it was on. Was it on draft night? I think he went on first take and it was kind of like this clash of like, oh, I'm, I'm leaving, but I love the Lakers. But also like shit is going down and everybody that works for that organization doesn't know what's going on. Magic just loves. I mean, that starts public. with magic, though. Magic was the president and GM of the team. And you oh, could say all oh, that's his fault. So it's kind of weird for him to get out and then blame everyone else. I think magic is a problem there. You know, magic gets a lot of credit for being a role model, for being a great guy. It turns out since his playing career, he's done absolutely shit. He was terrible on TV. He's terrible as a uh, NBA executive. Was he he was awful. He okay. was so bad. I'll go back he and didn't watch. Last. I didn't know. We'll go back and watch. He was mumbling, stumbling, really fumbling his words around. Magic Johnson's not very good at anything ever since he um, Shots contracted. Fired. He Whoa, contracted Jeremy, the- Jeremy, Whoa. I don't know if it affects your performance. I'm just saying it hasn't been good. Since Has he player. been that bad though? Like he's investing in all these teams. He's part of like the Dodgers. He wants to be part of the Lakers. He's a, you know, he's an LA guy at heart. He wants to be part of everything. He doesn't want to be part of the Lakers. Well, he, he texted wa- them. He was breaking up. I he know. texted Jeannie after the whole press conference. But I, thing. I think, don't you think that like what he's doing is what he always wanted to do and be able to do whatever he wants. And I think with the commitment of, I don't know what his whole role was at the Lakers, but he didn't do any of that. And he just wanted to like cruise out. And I didn't know he was going on like vacations in the summer for like six weeks. 
you can't be doing that if that your job is like scout other players, right? No, no. And he, he shouldn't be an executive and he just wants to be liked by everyone. That's why he's still going on first take. He shouldn't even go on first take right now. I kind of like of the, the, the Lakers, um, yeah. this Instagram handle cuffs the legend. Okay. Not sure who they Shout are or what cuffs they the are. Legend. Good handle, I guess. Never heard of it. Uh, they they put out a picture on Instagram of okay. Kyrie Irving in a Lakers jersey. I'll hold it up to you right now. Okay. You see it there, Mike? I see that. Oh, yeah. There's been lots of talk. There has been a like of this photo by King James himself. So where are we at in the LeBron-Kyrie relationship? Because it was very frayed. Yes. At one point, are they on the same page? Is, is LeBron so desperate now to get a superstar in L.A. that he's going to accept Kyrie back? I think the way you have to look at it is Kyrie went through the struggle that LeBron went through saying he's the veteran on the team. He's trying to get these young guys behind him. And guess what? Kyrie didn't like that. He realized he doesn't want to be that guy. He wants the easy way out starting drama out in Boston. He's going to come to LA. I don't know for sure, but he's talking like LeBron says, supposedly there's like in contact with like Kawhi Leonard and Jimmy Butler and all these guys. I don't know if it's going to happen because it seems like the the front office is falling apart. So, like, how do you convince somebody to come to a place where it's like people are talking shit about you because they can easily just jump on first take because it's across the street? So it's kind of tough. But, again, if they want that, like, I think Jimmy Butler wants to be a star. And in L.A., you'd become somewhat of a star. Does Jimmy Butler want out? Is he in Minnesota now? I think it was like a one-year deal. Uh, he was in, wasn't he on Philly? I think he was on Philly. Is he on Philly now? I think he's on Philly. Why'd they lose then? <laughs> Philly sucks. I don't, I don't think he's on Philly. He's on Philly. You've I'm, been watching NBA playoffs. You better be right about I'm that. I'm pretty sure he's on Philly. Yeah, he's on Philly. Anyway, he, I do know one thing. You don't thing. believe me. That fa- <laughs> you really don't believe me. <laughs> I don't believe you at all. The NBA offseason is yes. going to be better than these NBA playoffs. I know you've been watching and we're trying to get into it, mm-hmm. but I got to say it hasn't been great. Jeremy, you missed this last week. Uh, I think there was a sweep. The Warriors swept. What was great about that? Nothing's great about that, but the Warriors are, are going to win. I don't think any team was ready for like I was watching last night's game. The, the Bucks in Toronto. No one can shoot. No one could do anything. There was a nine minute stretch, I think, that no one scored any points. How no is that could, good, Mike? It's not good, but it just is like it almost shows you how good the Warriors are, or how good LeBron was years ago on other teams. I don't know. Uh, to me, it's like, OK, we're learning some things. Who knows? All right, you so the to- Raptors won, and they have one more win until they would reach the Warriors in the finals. Is that correct? Yeah, the finals start next Thursday. Okay. Is that okay? Do you want to do uh, J Dog takes on? Yeah, I do. J Dog takes on. Shout out Fairmont Hotel, St Andrews. Really recommend it. No. How uh, right. was it? Like a castle. It was like a castle. Oh. The hotel was like a castle. It's really cool. Me. Yeah, good one. Have you been to Scotland? I haven't. Only Ireland. You should go. Golf. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, just what I want to do. Golf. Castles. Okay. Three pretty sweet things, right? You might like two of them. How's your Wi-Fi out there? Strong. Strong? Stronger? Well, anything stronger than your I was your on apartment. Vodafone. I was on Vodafone. <laughs> You ever hit up Vodafone? Vodafone is like the automatic switchover when you go over there. It's automatic. You land, you're on. It's great. Also, I flew Virgin, uh, Virgin Atlantic. Atlantic, and great. we'll have more coming up on that on the travel hack. Because hopefully that sponsored was a by great Virgin time. Atlantic. Yeah, that great. was a great time. Yeah. Uh, really recommend it. Uh, J Dog takes on America today. I'm just gonna come out and say it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, listen. I got my little taste of Europe, and it's yeah. it's pretty cool. And America is not as cool as I thought America was. You know, okay. we're so new and young as a country, but you don't realize that when you're here. And when I was over there in Scotland, in mm-hmm. Edinburgh especially, the city of Edinburgh, which is a huge did, city, a few well, million you, people live did there. Did you work on your accent? Because I know you were testing out your Scottish accent beforehand. Did, I, did you want to lay I, it I out? To- I chose not to show it off out there. Um, okay. They like, they like Americans, it turns out. They like um, the exchange rate on the on the American Express card. They're, they're, they're okay with us. Did you, do you have an accent? Could you, like, give us a little bit? Since you were there, you heard it. It was thick, right? That's a... What what I will say is there's a soft there's a soft Scottish accent sure. and there's a harsh Scottish accent yeah, yeah, yeah. and the harsh Scottish accent surprised me because I couldn't understand much of it. I told I told you going into that it's gonna be and tough. Some to of my understand. camera crew was very harsh with the accent. It's yeah, hard. they just start mumbling. You're like, what did you say? Yeah, what what did yeah. you say? So yeah. so that yeah. did happen. Um, but I'm taking on America because 
cities like Edinburgh and I would imagine so many others in Europe are so old and cultured and the architecture is so sick and sweet. And then you look at America and it's all modern and new and that's cool, but we need to go see the old stuff. We need to see how it used Mm -hmm. to be to understand how it will be in the future. When I was there in Scotland, I felt like I was at Disney World, at Universal Studios, at like Hogwarts or something. And then I was realizing... They're doing it right over there. It's Disney that's mocking all of Europe because that's as close as we can get in America. So I'm taking on America. I'm taking on the theme parks. Uh, go, go see the real thing, man. Go to Europe. You're saying travel. You're, you're, you're taking me 30 is years get to get to America. Europe. Get out of America. I was like, I like LA. I like San Diego, Portland. No, I want to go to Barcelona. I want to mm-hmm. go to Paris. I want to go to Rome. I want to eat and drink my way through Europe. I want to see it. it all. And I'm not so cool with America coming back over. Wow, that's uh, that's a hot take. I told you to be controversial. That's a, that's a hot take. I I agree. I think traveling, you see the world, you get to drink some wine, eat the food, meet the people. It's really good. Sometimes we there's get so stuck much nicer. In our ways. By the way, you're right. There's so much nicer over there. You yeah. go to the gas station. They're asking me how my day was. Yeah. When's the last time a convenience clerk said, "How's your day going?" No, Never. they're always like looking like they're on crack and like yeah. looking at you like, well, "What are you doing here?" We got yeah. issues here. Everyone's depressed and grumpy, and we want to complain about things. Try Europe. We can we can complain still. All right, let's do Scandal City. Time to dig up the dirtiest stories around the sport world in this week's Scandal City. You're so well traveled now, Jeremy. This is uh, your first time out of America, and that's it. That's You're done with America. Are you gonna be that's an not expat? true at all. Are you going to be an expat? <laughs> What's an expat? That's where you're like an ex, like American, where you're just like patriot. Yeah. No, I'll be a patriot uh, okay. for life. Okay. Um, I've been many places outside of America, just not Europe, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> the Palmas don't count. I go to ne- I go to the south of France every summer, folks. That's very nice out there. All right. Uh, did you see Ezekiel Elliott uh, got arre- not arrested, handcuffed, but no arrest? No. What did happened? you see that? He was at EDC in Vegas. He was dancing, partying, jumping around. And it looked like he was drunk, knocked some dude over, but the dude didn't want to press charges, so he didn't get arrested. He okay. should have just been arrested. Um, being drunk at EDC is not a crime. Yeah, but it, what he did to the, the guy, the, there's a video out there. I think TMZ has it. He like kind of shoved over some dude. Wasn't that bad, but he definitely got up in his face like he wanted to fight him. If I was to do it, I would have pressed charges. Zeke can't act like that. We've always talked about the handler. The Cowboys yes. are never good at protecting their no, star athletes ever. Um, they, they just need handlers. Give, give the top 20 athletes in the Cowboys uh, a guy paying 50000 each to look out for him, and that's a full-time job. I, I would be I would be there. I'd be there for him. I'd Who did we see out. in Vegas? We saw Chris Paul in Vegas no, we when we were there. we didn't see Chris Paul. <laughs> yes, Jeremy, we did. He no, was walking we, through the casino. No, we did not see him. We did not see Chris Paul at all. Where was EDC? What's the venue in Vegas? Uh, I don't know. Some outdoor venue. I don't know what it is. Probably where they do, I don't know, probably next to Mandalay or something. I, I've never been out there to see it. So I've only EDC been is cool. I've been to the one here in LA. That was it. I think it was You've the last done time EDC? I was yeah. You do the neon clothes and you rave? I did it all. 2011, I did it. Wow. Yeah. Long God, you're old. <laughs> <laughs> Eight years ago, I was fun. Yeah, yeah. Things have changed. I'm not, not One of sure. our friends, uh, I bet he still would rave and do EDC. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. I think he's, that's what he's doing out in Europe right now. That's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. He's going to have a fresh pod to listen to. Uh, I got a big dick energy. Big Ooh. dick energy. Winner of the week. <laughs> Jeremy, this, this big dick energy is going out to this broke dude who just moved in to a $63 million mansion because his mom had a one-night stand with an aristocrat in Europe, and he got his DNA tested, and now he's the rightful heir to this giant mansion. So That's amazing. So it's 23 and me <laughs> total? <laughs> so if anything, go do 23 and me. And find out if you can just claim somebody's castle. That's <laughs> someone's throne. That's awesome. That's we should do a twenty three and me segment because each week we're coming up with these stories. Remember, I told you about the couple who turned out they had the same dad oh, yeah. and they were brother sister yeah. through twenty three and me. There's these stories that are popping up as everyone's trying it out. That's a that's a good move. I'm not sure he expected that when he filled it out. Just wanted to know his descent, and it yeah. turned out he was royalty. I have I have twenty three and me. I'm uh I'm eleven percent Italian. 
And that's surprising, right? I thought so. I mean, it's kind of cool. I don't know if it's 100% true, but it does fluctuate throughout like the time you have it from like a year from now, because as more and more people do it, it gets better and better at knowing oh, wow. what you are. So it's kind of cool. It's really That's great. Cool. Yeah. Well, we're going to talk to them about sponsorship and we'll do a weekly segment. Okay, done. Here's what I found. Here's some news for food news. Jeremy, this food news is just for you. Skittles is releasing three new limited edition summer flavors. Wow. They're doing what are they? Skittle freeze pops. They're going to have blue raspberry, uh, lemon, and like orange and strawberry or something. So they're going to be like I feel like freeze- these aren't like crazy flavors. What do you mean freeze pops though? Like freeze pop style. Like, you know, when you eat a freeze pop, it's like very sugary, like that kind oh, of. Oh, like free- a popsicle? Yeah. Oh, sour popsicles. Great idea. I don't know about sour popsicles, but it could be. Could be a Did mix you say of they're that. sour Skittles? No, I just said they were Skittles. Oh, I just you went like, to sour. I guess, you're a, I guess you're a sour guy. <laughs> I saw a lot. I am. I saw a lot of Skittles in Scotland. I was surprised. M and M's and Skittles. The candy doesn't change much internationally. No, which not at remember all. we had that candy expert on. He was mm-hmm. in Germany at the time, and uh, he was he knew all of our candies. He was uh, on board with us. Shouts out to the candy guy. I tried reaching out to him again. Uh, he didn't. He didn't respond. So I don't know if he wants to come back on and talk candy. <laughs> I'm always down to talk candy. I know you are. Have you cut down the candy eating since? Cut it down a lot. You know, we are um, we are in a, we were in pre diabetes range, and we're yeah. moving we're moving ourselves back out of there. So the candy rate is down. The workouts are up, and wow. things are good here. Body body weight down or going up? Uh, we're adding muscle, Mike. Wow. You know what they say: muscle weighs more than fat. Of course, yeah, always. All right, you know about in, that. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm getting fat. Do your travel hacks. Do you have a open for me? I don't. I don't think we ever uh, did a. No, we never did. What you say? There you go. A couple things when you're traveling that you should know about. Number one, now that you're going to go see Europe and the rest of the world, global mm-hmm. entry is a must. It's only hundred dollars yes. for five years. I skipped a sixty minute line at JFK Airport last night because I had global entry. You walk up, you put your finger on it, and you walk right out. It's amazing. You go do your own thing. By the way, they were also shooting Mr. Robot at JFK in my terminal. Do you watch that show? I thought it ended last year. Uh, one more season. It's with Rami Malek and yeah. Christian Slater. I, I do watch it. It's a great show. Um, that, that's it, why I thought it ended. I just started binging. They're shooting a new season right oh, now, and it's at okay. JFK. I can give you some spoilers if you want. Probably shouldn't no, on the yeah, air. Yeah. Um, I started binging it this morning. Um, I'm, I'm in. I'm a fan. By the it's way, really the good. showrunner is this goofy-looking guy. He's like Egyptian. He's like 6'6", and he's married to Emmy Rossum, who is so blazing hot from Shameless. You love Shameless. I never could get kind into that show. Me. I like Shameless. So did our mutual friend. Uh, also, ch- chug alcohol on the planes, but just drink a water in between. So that got me through. Yesterday was a 15-hour travel day for me, just yeah. in the sky all day long. Drink water, drink water. Never felt to hydrate, never had a headache, and I had the sustainability to make it through the 15-hour can travel I, Can I tell you my hack going into this weekend? I am wearing a full-on compression suit and compression socks. Head to toe, I'll be fully compressed. Head to toe, it's around your head? No, neck to toe. Neck to toe, full full compressed. That helps with circulation? Helps with circulation. Also helps off fight the, the effects of radiation killing your cells that make you look older. So that's, that's... Wait, that happens on planes or that happens every day? Because there's a high amount of radiation when you're up in the air. And if you compress your cells in blood flow, something happens to your cells that they don't expand as much so they can't die. So it helps you stay young and kind of negate the effects of the radiation. So that's what that's what I'm doing. If I had to tell, I'll send you some pictures tomorrow. It's going to be very uncomfortable, I think. Uh, also, so you, you're willing to be uncomfortable. You are going to have your own 15-hour travel day. You can't fly direct. It's only nine hours. It is direct to Barcelona. L.A. to Barcelona? Yeah. It's only nine hours? No, it's not. Yeah, it is. My flight ticket... I was eight hours from Orlando to Glasgow. I think once you get some uh, height on you, because I also flew from Ireland to, uh, where did I go to? Los Angeles. And it was like a seven and a half hour flight. We got those wings. It's like five hours from Florida. I don't get it. I don't get it either, but that's what it says. So it's going to be a quick trip, hopefully. I'm going to sleep. I'm also doing this. First class, premium comfort. No, uh, just with the scum in the back. Oh, God, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to be doing my, I'm doing like a time shift thing where I'm waking up early and it's like going out in the sun today and do this and don't do that. So Mm -hmm. it should be good. And also I have the global, not the global entry. I have that. 
But then I have the official U.S. passport app on your phone. And, and what that, does that do? That, that's like if you don't have global entry, it's like the next best thing because everything's digital. So you can just go ahead. It's there for you so you don't lose it. Yeah. And I guess it just helps speed up a process. I don't know what it is, but I'll try it out. That I makes sense. It. I want to shout out Virgin Atlantic. Um, they, okay. These cute flight attendants, they walk around saying, rubbish, 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 as they collect your trash. It's very cute. Um, they give you hand wipes before you eat. Okay. Um, they turn on the lights and they go wakey, wakey over the announcement when you're about to land. Um, truly a gentle British experience. I really recommend Virgin Atlantic. Um, massive plane, double decker. Um, really a great time. What airline are you flying? Delta or uh, Air France or whatever the one that goes to Europe, whatever their partner is. KLM. KLM. Uh, so. I did fly Del- uh, Ethiopian Airlines once, and that was miserable. That sounds miserable. Delta, yeah. you'd get the miles, which is nice. Uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, that's it. We got nothing All else. Right. But Just a couple of uh, European travelers that's here. That's right. And I might do one live from Barcelona next week if we can match up our time. I'll, I talk, hope so. I'll talk about football. Soccer. Football. Yes. Uh, go check out hangover.network. Lots and lots of good articles and blogs and podcasts. Uh, validate me. Those girls just launched the new pod. They had, uh, it's great. Listen, the very first episode I did listen to the dating, did. the dating one when you all dated celebrities. Now I knew you dated a celebrity. Yes. Um, one of the funniest girls on TV. I'm not going to yeah. tell them who yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah, listen gotta, to the pod. It's nice validate tease. Me. Nice tease. But but the girls, they both have some yeah. big-time celebrities that they went out with. They never said they had sex with them. I'm assuming they both had sex with their respective celebrities. I'll give you some confirm? details after the show. Get confirm now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm the sure singer, they have. I'm sure that, yes. He, he I'm stuck it in there, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. So that's, a, uh, that's a yes so go, from Mike. Yeah. All right, you got to listen to that. The very first episode of the Validate Me pod. Wow. Um, Mike's shirtless on it. Yes. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a good listen. I haven't heard the second one yet, but I'm sure it's good. It's good. It's with one of the girls from Bravo TV's Summer House. Uh, she came over to the studio over here, and we all recorded, and she was really funny. Uh, That's great. So just our upcoming schedule for us. Um, you'll be in Barcelona. Mm-hmm. I'll be in Arizona. But then we're going to meet up either in Palm Springs or L.A. And we're going to do or some Vegas. content together. So we're both traveling a lot lately, which is great content. It's great, great content. And we're going to be together at some point. In like two weeks, we'll be together, Jeremy. That's all That's all that really That's matters. That's all that matters. Uh, you know I love being together with I you. I know. Yeah, yeah. We have a great We, have a great we always time. get along yeah, the best. Great time. Great time. Go uh, Hangover.network. Uh, go to the website. Check it out. Everything's there. Follow us on Instagram at uh, Hangover Network. Everything is there. All the shows. We have a new gaming show coming out, the Super Pod Bros. One of the greatest logos ever made for any of our podcasts e- ever. Great logo. Great name and great logo. And we all know that's our strong suit. That's it. So, But that should be coming out pretty soon. Uh, they're gearing up. They've done some sample shows, and now they're going to be pushing it out. But a lot of good blogs, too. If you like video game stuff, go check out there. I like video games. Esports, Jeremy. That's where we're going. That's why we're pushing this, you know? It's the future, for it sure. Is, it is the future. All right. If we're going to rest Melissa Reviews, hopefully we are both good week. Week.